Hello there, survivors. Welcome back to another build tutorial here in Ark Survival Ascended. And today we're building the Raptor Paddock or a Dino Pen from Jurassic World. And I think it turned out pretty nice and as close to the movies as I could get. Now, of course, you can just follow this whole build guide for this size. But if you need it to be bigger because you want more tames in there, you can, of course, just make the sides longer to get a bigger pen. And any dino that fits through a normal dino gate will be able to go inside of this design. You could scale it up even more for a behemoth gate, but then it starts to become very, very big indeed. As always, if you like these build tutorials and you want to see more, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to show even more support, you can also consider becoming a YouTube member. Tier 2 members get early access to every video that I post. With that being said, let's get to the building. Okay, of course, we want to start out by placing down the foundation of the pen itself first. It's best to have a relatively flat area, but you can also build it on a steeper terrain because we're building walls anyway, so we're not going to see any of the foundations for the most part. We want to start by laying down a line of foundations that is nine wide. So nine in total right here. Just all normal foundations. So that is to get it all started. And then we want to end this line with adding a triangle foundation on both ends. That is where we're going to start our octagon. Then you want to once again take normal foundations and go out by nine. And again, it doesn't really matter too much how the terrain goes because we're going to cover this up with the walls anyway. So if you can't place them on the same height, that is totally fine. So here as well, we're going to go out by nine in total. There we go. So that gets us the first bit of the octagon, the first three sides. Then here, of course, we want to take out our triangles again. Then we're going to go along with the triangles. And you see these ones. So I count those as two, three, four, five, and six in total here on the side so a little bit shorter but that's just because the sizes are all different and otherwise it's going to be a very long shape but of course if you want a bigger pen just make this side longer or even any of the other sides if you need more room in here and then we're gonna go all the way to the other side and do the same thing over here so again this is three this is four this is five and this is six so six triangles on the outside to get going and then we can go back to our normal uh, foundations and go out by nine again. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And of course, here on the other side, we do the same thing going out by nine again. So that we have a nice size foundation here. Then we can add the triangles to the end of both sides. And if you've placed everything correctly, this should line up perfectly with each other with a nine long foundation again. So then we have this kind of shape as an octagon. And you can see because of the sizes in arc, it's a little bit longer than it's wide, but it's close enough. And I think this is a pretty decent size to get a dino pen going. Now, now you need to decide on which side you're going to be building the little uh, hatching room and cage, as well as where do you want to have your gate. So first off, you want to figure out where you want to have the little hatching bay and cage. In my case, it's going to be here on this side. So I'm going to place a 4x4 four four attached to this. So I'm going to go out by 4 and make it 4 wide as well to get myself a little bit of room here to build that hatching bay and then if you're building the cage and hatching bay on this side i would then here on the left side of the pen add in the gate so we're gonna have the gate right here on this side um just because that's the way it would be facing in the movies but of course feel free to add them on both sides if you want access point on multiple sides because i mean you might as well but uh yeah feel free to adjust as you see fit I would at least have one gate to enter from 
and then i think in the movie on this side there would be no wall but like an opening into a bigger area in the rest of the park but obviously for arc we're gonna make it a full enclosure so that we can actually use it as a dino pen okay then it's best to start on the side of the hatching pen to get all the sizes right so what we want to do is we want to have a door right here and then have four more of them right next to it now on official i'm not sure if you can do this so you might want to just use a window instead but if you can you can have a little fence going or railing going down the bottom this is where the raptors poke their heads through but a window should work as well uh, this just adds a little bit nice details around it which i quite like and then of course we can add a door right to this one then here on the other side we're also going to go and we're going to make the wall three high in total then we're going to go all the way across the bottom and all the way across the top and here in the middle and then these other two gaps we're going to actually make windows so that's going to be the first wall here and actually in these windows this is where you want to fit in your air conditioning and this will help with this room being very suited for breathing now on this wall we're going to do the same so on these places we want to have windows so that you can actually have your breathing going on and then of course we want to fill in the rest of the wall the same way and then here in the end we just kind of want to fill in the entire wall with nothing really special going on so just a normal wall this side however facing the pen we're only going to do these side bits because you might have guessed it we want to add in a gate right there which will lead us to the raptor pen but of course you can have a full gate there so that you can close off your breathing area if you wish to and then I would have some ramps coming out from the breeding uh, or hatching area into the rest of the pen and making sure, depending on your landscape, that they connect all the way down there. And we can actually extend these ramps all the way across this side of the building. On the other side of this foundation line, we can actually do the same. So again, we'll have some ramps going all the way cross this little edge because this is all going to be part of the cage that we're going to build and then we can take some metal ceilings and fill in the top layer here because this is going to be a little viewing platform as well and it's going to also give us access to the rest of the walkway and then here on the corner here on the right side where everything connects back to the pen we're going to raise this up by two more above the one that we already have and then here at the back we want to have one ceiling extending over the edge because this is where we're going to have our staircase going all the way down into the ground so that we can easily get up to the top of this building and of course we want to have some railings connecting along the side of this whole thing also up here and we actually want to make sure that we get some railings going across the sides of this as well uh, not on the front and of course here too so that you have a safe viewing platform to watch your dinosaurs from and to make it a little bit more supported we're going to add some pillars but to make them look nicer uh, you might have to remove this first we'll snap two of these in place first have some thin metal pillars there and then remove them and then you can add in the normal railing again but this just looks a little bit nicer and we can have those pillars Go all the way down into the ground so that it's all nicely supported and you have the staircase going up there and of course before i forget we also want to add in our air conditionings there so that this whole breeding room is uh yeah ready to go basically and then what i also like to do is making sure that these raptors have like the different pens to be parked in you might want to make these too high to make them a little bit more separated and then add a pillar at the end to finish those little cubby holes off and then of course probably want to have a feeding trough in there as well somewhere okay and then we want to start on the cage now to get this started we want to take a wall and then place it down because this is the, the level of the foundations of course but we don't want foundations all the way in the cage well you could if you prefer that but I don't want that so instead we want to make sure that we have our walls there and then follow them four out 
and again you see you might need some pillar support so we can add in some pillars on each of those walls and make sure that the walls are going out by four in total before turning around the corner and getting back to the main connection means also that we can remove one of these ramps because we won't be needing that one and yet we want to have at least all these fences or all these uh pillars in so that we can start our cage design in a little bit and then of course we also want to make sure that we have a pillar right there and some pillars in this part of the building as well because that's basically going to be the size of our cage now first of all we want to probably add in some doors so i would add in some double doors right there and then a normal small door right here in this corner of course don't forget to add the actual doors to it and if you do have the frontier skins from the bob tall tales dlc you can actually make the doors into proper jail doors which just looks a little bit more appropriate for this design then we want to make sure that all these pillars that we've placed are going to be too high in total here so two high pillars and that is going to be the starting size of our cage then we're going to take out our metal railing and we're going to go here to the side of the cage and we're going to find this snap point that goes up slightly so yeah we want to do that for all of these here on the side and that is to give the cage a little bit more shape so that it's just not a, a full square but it has a little bit more of a rounded shape here at the corner and then we can connect these ones up all the way to the main building so we're gonna cross these ones over into the hatch area that we've already established there we go we make them all go all the way in to the proper building now they're still floating it's not quite a cage yet so we definitely have some extra work to do what we want to do is have some uh, beams going across from pillar to pillar. So like so, we want to make sure that we have a thin beam going all the way across. And we want to do that pretty much everywhere. So this one as well. Adding that in and we're going to add that in for all of these beams. We actually also want to add in these support beams going across. So basically we can make a whole grid up here with our beams which makes it a little bit easier to place them down as well um, because this is going to be your like top grid of this cage and uh, yeah we're going to just connect them all the way up until we've got a grid going from one side all the way to the other there we go so we should have a grid like this and then uh, to make this look a little bit nicer i want to flip around a railing like this and connect them up like so so the railings aren't just floating but actually connected to the proper grid i'm not sure if that's just possible in official since it is technically a little bit of overlapping but i mean it's not necessary for the design it just makes it look that little bit nicer in my opinion so now we have the top of the cage pretty much done and that means we can start filling in the walls which is basically just adding up railings until we reach the top of this so yeah we'll start with this just creating a wall out of railings because that really creates the feeling of a cage and then we'll just go along all of the side as well filling in the rest of the cage getting that full experience going there we go all the way up until the edge of this cage and of course above the door as well and then we'll fill in the last two walls here and there we go that creates a quite nice looking cage here on the side of our hatching building now we're using pillars anyway we also want to make sure that we add in some pillars here on the corner of that building to give it a little bit more shape and support and just make it look a little bit stronger in general here of course we want to make sure that it goes all the way up 
and then here we also also want to add it in and make sure that it goes too higher than the building so it is equal on both of those sides now if you want to add a little bit more detail you could also add in a pillar right there and then one in the middle here as well just to make this side a little bit nicer and then we actually also want to make a pillar going all the way up the same height as the other ones right on that corner and here in this corner we want to make sure that we also start a a fence like this going all the way up but this one we can actually continue all the way up to the height of this first pillar and that's actually what we're going to do all the way across so um i was a little bit too fast on this side we want to remove this last layer because well we're still going to use all those railings but we're just going to make them go all the way up because obviously this connects to your pen and this is a jurassic world design so we want to have safety first and have all of these railings go all the way up to the top of the pillar with a lot of railings later, we'll have a nice fence line like so. And for this part, it depends on what you've got available to you. You can continue the fence just as we did before. And then your viewing platform will just have to look through those fences as well. But if you have any glass material, you could choose that as well. You could go for the greenhouse glass, but it's quite hard to see through them. But if you have some molds or custom cosmetics with glass, that is what I would suggest using. I'm actually using the metal glass from the ASR or Architect Structures Remastered mod, which is just a nice looking glass, which is as strong as metal as well. So it's very safe to use. And this will give me a nice proper view into the enclosure. Okay, and then we're almost done with the facilities on this side and it's time to start working on the whole enclosure wall. First off, we're going to start with placing down our ceilings this is going to be the height of the entire walkway going across that's why we started on this side of the building and then of course we want to have a staircase going up there so that we can connect it and safely access our walkways up there and then of course what we want to do is add a railing all along this side as well to make sure it's all safe and as a little detail, what I also like to do is having these railings here on the bottom, just because that makes it look like it's like properly supported. And then also here on the side, I like to connect them as well, just because I think that looks a little bit nicer, but it's not necessary. But for the design, it just makes it all look a little bit more supported so those are the facilities to get started with now basically what we want to do now we have the right height for our walkway is go around and make the same shape as the original shape so here on the corners we're going to add triangles to start that shape going and then we're going to go out by nine again across this side and then again also here on this side we're going to go out by nine there we go and then we come to the part where we want to use the triangles so we want to have six of these sides of the triangles on the outside so that is enough and then of course we do the same thing here on the other side and the reason that we start with the uh, facilities there is that you will always have enough space above them if you start over there if you go up randomly with the walls it very much depends whether your terrain was all equally high because of course for example here the foundations were a lot lower so the walls would not have reached the same height otherwise now after that we've done six of these triangles on the outside we want to go out by nine again for these normal ceilings of course we do that on both sides so we go out by nine in total and then we can have our triangle corners again and then if everything went well we should be able to go nine across and reach the other side and connect up again so that is our perimeter fence and walkway going up like so already now it's going to be time to start on the walls now we're going to start up right here uh where we're going to have this first wall going up i like to use the uh texture that's normally on the inside of the wall on the outside because i think it looks a little bit cooler for these designs so yeah, we want to start out by filling in these walls all the way on the outside, just 
normal regular walls on this first side here so this is a nine long wall and we just want to fill it all in with these metal walls then we can take out our pillars add a nice pillar here on the edge and then every three we're going to add in another pillar just to give ourselves a little bit more detail here on this wall so there we go that is the very basic wall here on the outside uh, almost done then here on this corner we actually want to go out by three in total we're going to add a little shape to that and we also want to do that here on the end of the wall again going out by three in total as well with foundations then we're here on the side of the gate we're going to start off the same i would advise always to start snapping from the walkway so you're sure that you have the right walls and you don't end up higher or something and then we just want to go around this and fill in the walls again with the uh inside texture on the outside because i like that a little bit more instead of the very very clean look then we want to add in some pillars here next to the uh, gateway and some pillars above as well so there we go that is pretty much it and then as for this wall again it's basically the same one as the first one we've built we just want to go and fill it all in with walls the whole nine long wall in total just filling it all in making sure that we've got the right textures here on the outside and here you can see my foundations of course are going with the terrain they're going to be a little bit lower but i'm just going to be snapping the walls until they reach the floor and then here of course the corner filling that in as well then we snap three more of those foundations to that corner and then again as well here on this one we'll have three three foundations going to the outside here and of course just as we did for the first wall we want to have our uh, pillars going up here on the corner of the wall and we want to make sure that it's all facing the same way and then of course every three we're going to add in pillars as well as a little bit of extra detail so we'll have this right here and right there just to add in a little bit of variation okay so on the side of the gate we have those two uh foundations that we've added on both sides what we want to do there is actually extend this design a little bit to add a little bit detail to it so we'll take out the metal roofs i like to flick them upside down because i like that texture a lot and then go out by three in total so we'll do that on both of those corners and then of course we can take out our slow walls again i'm flipping around the textures because i like it a little bit more instead of having the very clean look of the metal for this design and we'll do that on both of them so adding these slope walls underneath the uh, roofs that we just placed just to get the shape in and then we can fill in the rest with walls all the way until we're down into the ground so there we go should be nice and easy and of course also here on the front want to make sure it's filled in and then here on the other one we'll do the exact same filling it all in so that we get this nice little detail that's sticking out from our pen just to give it a little bit more shape and a little bit more uh character and then here we'll add in some pillars and we want to also have the pillars here on the corner of the addition that we've just added and of course we're going to do the same thing here on the other side making sure that we have pillars everywhere on the ends and then one last detail is going to be adding some railings here along the side of those roofs that we've added and also here at the end just to give them a final touch of details going on and making them look a little bit more special so yeah there we go we have the first two of those going now of course we have two more of those that we want to add in as well with the same principle as we just did for every one that we're going to add in the future you can just do the same here on the edge we can of course add in our railings as well 
because that's just because we want to make sure that we do not fall down or nice lovely build and then here actually in this corner so right next to where we have our uh cage we're gonna remove one because we're gonna make another little uh staircase here so we start out by having this one go out then we'll take the stairs go down two before adding in a little platform in the middle and then we can continue our staircase going all the way down now hopefully depending on your landscape you might reach the ground already if you do not uh then we can add in a little corner here like so so that we can actually go all the way down into it and you can of course add in some supports uh for these platforms i would first add in these two quarter walls so that we can snap our pillars to it all the way to the ground on both of these sides and then here as well uh, this helps of course to give you more places where you can actually access the walkway but also it just adds a little bit of detail to some of these outer walls that otherwise might be a little bit boring we can remove those quarter walls now and just add railings to the edges of the entire staircase going down so that we can easily and safely reach the top of our walkways there we go of course here above the gate we also want to make sure that we have the railings in place on the top and then we'll continue all that way here on the outside okay then we actually want to go around and at this corner add in another three foundations because we're going to have another addition there we want to add one here on this uh, corner right there and right there as well and then one last one here right next to the hatching room that we've already built and those are going to be all the little additions that we'll be building to the wall now that we've done almost half of the wall we're going to also do the same thing here of course on this side so we're going to start by filling in these walls again making sure the texture faces the right way now for most of these walls there's not going to be anything uh, special going on so you just want to make sure that you fill them all the way in and then once we've done that i'll get back to you and also make sure that you add the additions that we've built a couple of times already as well and then here in the middle on the other side of course we have the gate you can decide still if you want to also have a gate on the other side but for now i would just fill this in all the way as a wall as well because you don't really need two gates unless of course you've got something special planned okay if you filled in all the walls and added all the extra additions you should have something like this right now and then of course this one on the end it's pretty much the same you could build this as an opening if you want to build a bigger park if you're going to go for the full jurassic park slash world experience but otherwise yeah you just want to continue filling in this entire wall uh, to make sure that the pen on the outside at least is all complete and safe before before we start building all the walls on the inside and adding the details to make the inside look a little bit nicer as well so there we go we just fill this in and then of course every three we want to have a pillar going all the way down just as a little bit of a detail to make this look a little bit more interesting then just a blank wall and of course add the railings here on the outside as well to sure to make sure that we have a very safe wall going on we've already added one staircase there and of course on the hatching pen but maybe you want to also add one on this side i would suggest right here so across from where we had the other one and we'll do it the same way adding in a little platform there and there and then making the staircase go down here on the side because it always also adds a little bit of detail for this side wall as well and then depending on your landscape you might be already on the floor otherwise we'll make a little turn here to make that happen and then we'll have some supports there of course then for the rest of the supports we'll get our little quarter walls out first we can snap our pillars to that and make sure that they go all the way down into the ground there we go and of course here as well making them go all the way 
down below. Just because this looks a little bit nicer, of course. And then we can fill in the railings to make this staircase all safe and sound. So we'll just go all the way down, adding in our railing like so. So we have another place to enter our walkways from. Now that we have the wall for the outside, we also want to make sure that it looks nice here on the inside. We're going to start here where we have our gate. We're going to have the same wall just going all the way down like so. Then here, we're actually going to go in like this diagonal so that we have this one contained. And then we'll do the same one here on this side. So going all the way down and then going in like this so basically it makes the gate stand out a lot what you could do if you want you could also uh, leave these two out for example so only do them next to the gate then add in a little triangle uh, ceiling before continuing your wall like this instead if you still want to make sure that the gate is like built into the wall but yeah, both variations are totally acceptable there. And there we go for this wall. So right next to where we have the cage, we want to start by just going down along the edge here and go all the way across the top as well. Now, of course, this will always depend on your landscape, but if it still lines up, we can go across the bottom layer as well. And then we basically want to pick the right one. In this case, I would go for this height. So like about middle height. And then for each of these middle portions, because there are three by threes each time. So in the middle of those three, we'll have a little opening. We'll take out our pillars to make those sections a little bit clear. So off the three walls, we'll have a pillar. To make those sections and then we'll do that here as well and of course there we already have the pillar now we can take out a window and fill those in like so and then we can fill in an air conditioning in the window those probably won't help you with like hatching eggs but they do look nice like vents on the walls and it's a nice way to add some details to your build of course if you think it's too expensive, you can always leave them out as well. But that's basically how we want to do every one of these walls that are nine long. So this one will to get started the same. It doesn't quite line up here on this side because it went a little bit lower, of course, with the foundation. But the principle stays the same. So this line is the one that we connect all the way through. Then we create a little gap there for the window. And we do that on every section of the wall, basically making sure that these little air conditioning units are going in the same place, even if the wall is a little bit higher than in other places. And then, of course, we want to add in all pillars again to make those little divisions in the wall like so. And then we add in our windows in the middle of the sections with the air conditioning, just as a little bit of detail. And that's what we want to do for each of these walls that is nine long. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And then, of course, we still have this wall. On the other side, we had the gate. Here we do not. And it is five wide in total. So what we want to do is basically a similar design. We go down by two first and then we'll leave the middle option here open and fill in the rest of the wall like normal and then you can probably guess it here in the middle is where we want to have another of these air conditioning uh what you could also do to make it a little bit more special is this one for example have it a little bit lower if you want to Okay, so now we've got the basic walls of our pen all done. Now, of course, it's time to focus on the rest of the walkway. We've got the walkway all around, and you could now just add railings to the inside and be done with it. But of course, in Jurassic World, you've got those nice walkways connecting over to the top of the pen as well. 
Now there's only one problem in Ark, and that is the size of triangles and normal ceilings don't exactly match up. So if we start going across, we'll have to overlap right in the middle. And I don't think that is possible on official. Feel free to try it and follow the tutorial like normal. But if uh, it doesn't work, what you could do on official is just start on one side, go all the way to the other side and then connect your stairs back down and only have like one walkway instead of multiple. But for everyone that does have overlapping, what we want to do is find the middle on each side and have a stair going up like so. And we want to do that here in the middle as well. Then here on this side again, and then on the last side as well. So every middle on the four sides, we want to have a stair going up. And then, of course, we can start with our metal ceilings. You should be able to bring it out by two before it won't let you do anything else. So we'll do that on all sides. Now, we're going to have some temporary uh, supports before we add in our final one. So first of all, this is going to be temporary. We're just going to bring it all the way down so that we can continue the walkway. We'll do the same here on the other side. So temporarily bring out this all the way down so that we can extend it again and we should be able to extend it by three we'll do that on each side so it's easier to keep into account where the middle is going to be then what you want to do is underneath this one platform right in the middle you want to have a thin pillar going all the way down that's the one we'll keep we can remove the other one and it should stay all up so we'll do the same here on this side, extend the pillar all the way down and then we can remove the other one. Now, of course, we can extend this by three more and that is already getting closer to the middle here. But before we continue those, we want to also bring them in from the side. So we're going to do the same principle. We're going to take one foundation or pillar all the way down on both sides so that we can expand them so yeah if they're placed on the sides of the pillars that's how i remind myself okay well, those are temporary and the permanent ones i place in the middle of the walkway so we go out by three more we'll do that on both sides and there we go okay then we want to take out our thin pillar and want to make sure that we have three ceilings before we add one right here in the middle like so and then we can, of course, remove the temporary one again. And it should all still stay up. Then here again, after three ceilings, we want to make sure that we have a little support going all the way down. And then remove the other one. And it should stay up. Then we want to have a temporary support right here again. Going down like so. And then we can extend this one by one more ceiling on both sides so now we should be able to place it and this is where we're gonna go for a thicker pillar and we're gonna have one going down here on this side and then one here on the other side as well and then we should be able to remove the temporary one again okay and then on these sides we want to both add one more on both of those then we want to take out our triangle ceilings and start a shape like this so we have a shape like this and as you can see it doesn't quite line up it almost looks like you would be able to fit a quarter one in but it doesn't quite reach so what we want to do is also add in some of these triangles here on these sides which is almost a good fit then we take out our quarter ceilings and we go from one side to the other side to connect it because if you do any other thing sometimes you get these weird artifacts of overlapping uh, so we basically just start filling it in like so and this should prevent any weird overlapping textures but yeah we'll end up with a shape like this for our walkway and in order to add in some final supports we want to fit these triangles that we've placed on each side like so so on the end of the triangle we want to fit in these pillars and have them go connect all the way down to our structure because in that way it's both the same distance on equal sides 
And then we can take out our metal railing and we'll start here in the middle. If you do add in these railings on these triangle bits, they should just touch each other like so. Uh, it's the best way I could make this design work. And then, of course, we can go all the way around this whole bit, whole walkway, everywhere and add in our railings to make it all a safe place to walk around on. Okay, and then if you've added all the railings, you should have something like this, which already looks pretty cool in my opinion. But once again, we can add a little bit more detail to the walkways that are covering this place. What I would do is go around like this, just to add some supports underneath the whole thing that we've just made. First, we'll go around the middle part like so, connecting everything up. And then underneath the individual walkways, again, you want to make these railings go like so before adding in the ones here on the side and underneath the stairs, just so that it looks a little bit stronger, a little bit more supported uh, in general, because of course they go quite a long way above a dangerous raptor pen. So it feels only right to make sure that you have the proper supports. But if you think, no, that's going to be too expensive for me, since it is already all made out of metal, then you can, of course, decide to leave those out. And there we go. Once we've done that, it should all look like this. So we've got the cage, the hatching pen on this side. We've got the big raptor paddock in the middle. Plenty of room for some of your smaller to medium-sized tames, anything actually that fits through this gate, of course, that we have on the side. And then we've got the walkway over the top as well, which all makes for a pretty cool dino pen design, in my opinion. And it's one that you can definitely very easily use in Ark as well. Okay, let's do a little tour of the place. This is the one that I first designed. It's a little bit more hidden in the jungle. But yeah, of course, you have those walkways that you can get up. I would try and leave as much of the vegetation in your raptor pen as possible just because it looks nicer and then it could end up being something like this as you can see I've got a bunch of raptors in there just wandering around for the full effect feeding trough in the middle an ov raptor as well to pick up all the eggs that they create and then yeah we got all the air conditionings working as some detail and I just really like the way that this play turned, place turned out, like, really like the look of it. I think I got pretty close to what we see in the movie. And then, yeah, we got all those air conditioning units. Here I actually tried a little bit of a different design. I did a quarter wall, snapped a pillar to it to make, like, looking like there's actually ducts coming from the air conditioning as well. But, um, yeah, it's a little bit overkill. Then here, of course, we got a little hatching bay area i uh, would have your generator here so everything is powered got the viewing platform which is nice to look from as well and then of course you can enter the cage from here so that you can go in you have all your raptor heads sticking out here which is really cool to see you can enter your your pen from here as well but of course we also have access here to our little breeding area you can see them all here next to each other air conditioning's working a feeding trough here and an ov raptor to make this hatching place work perfectly fine as well so yeah that is how you turn this raptor paddock from jurassic world into your own dino pen in arc and it's quite a nice design i would say quite functional as well and of course as i said at the start you could make the sides bigger if you need more space for bigger dinos but just remember that if you're using this gate they can only be as big as the gate is of course because otherwise yeah how are you gonna get them in you could scale it up even more to fit a behemoth gate i suppose but then it would turn into a massive massive build anyway that's gonna be it for this build tutorial hopefully you enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you want to see more build tutorials feel free to leave some suggestions down in the comments below